I don't think I've been this excited since Gucci became a publicly traded company. Welcome to The Devil's Advocate, where I'll be showing you why Legally Blonde 2, Red, White, and Blonde is the finest in the trilogy. This movie's better than the first for a few reasons. The first being that in this movie, they cut out all the fat, as it were. They cut out the character development and relationship building, things we don't need. The first movie kept hitting you over the head with, look at her character, look what she does, look at the decisions she makes. In this one, cut away from that, go straight to the point. Animal testing in Congress. Secondly, this film is for women with a strong female lead that does a lot more than just watch men do work and say she's a strong female character. She manages to draft a bill in a single night. Also, she improves the positivity of Congress through the invention of the Snap Cup. Snaps to the devil's advocate. Finally, if you don't like this movie, you're a homophobe. And you don't support gay dog sex. I mean, look at them. Aren't they the cutest couple you've ever seen? That's what I thought. Thanks for watching, and join me next week when I'll be reviewing Spider-Man 3, the best in the trilogy.